hello this is Peter with PM Designs and uh, I've, I've made a video before on modeling lightning bolts and today I'm going to make a video showing how to animate those lightning bolts animate like this if you're not happy with how that looks then don't bother watching the rest of the video but I think that doesn't look too bad it doesn't look like a hundred percent real lightning but it gives the impression that it's lightning um, yeah so anyway let's get rid of all this stuff um, let's find I'm gonna try and find the one which I made last time. This one, okay. So I made this last time. Hopefully this is gonna be really quick. Um, just gonna show you how to animate this, basically. So the first thing we wanna do is set up some keyframes. Yeah, so let's just say we're doing it about 50. I, wanna s I want my bolt to be fully materialized at this one. So I'm gonna just whack that in there. Press I, location, rotation, and scale. Then, um, oh, what's going on? Okay, we go back a couple of frames, go back one frame even, mm, something like that. I'm gonna rotate this on the Y axis by 90 degrees. Oh, why are you all the way over there? Sorry. Let me set that there like that. I'm gonna take this on the Y axis by 90 degrees. Oh, sorry, what's going on? Why are you behaving like that? Thou shalt do as thou art told. Rotate. Y, 90, thank you. And I'm gonna shrink it down on the Y axis and I'm gonna stick it back up about where it came from. And I'm gonna add another keyframe in there, location, rotation, and scale. Let me go back a couple more and I'm gonna make it disappear, disappear completely with S, zero, enter, I, location, rotation, and scale. I'm gonna jump for, oh, Y, oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Should have done that before I started anything else, really. Oh well, we can guess. We can kind of guess it about there. As long as it's not. Yeah, that's all right. Close enough. It's going to be so fast anyway. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then I'm going to go forward a little bit more. About there, probably. And again, make it completely disappear. S zero. Enter I. Location, rotation, and scale. And I'm going to set the interpolation mode to constant because it'll give it a nice flash okay getting there something like that I'm just going to bring that forward a little bit actually because I just want it to last a little bit longer otherwise it's almost pointless doing the animation all right so then uh, let's go to here I'm going to add a modification to this which is going to be a displace I'm going to give it a cloud texture just because it gives nice random bumps all over different places Go into that strength setting, right? So there are well, there are, there's an easy way to animate this, and a more complicated, well, not more complicated, but just less beginner-friendly way. Um, we could just kind of animate like this. We could click on this, click I. Oh, let me do it actually. Why not? I'm going to do it here. I click I, and add a keyframe. Go forward a bit, adjust that, bring it down a bit. I don't know, something like that. Click I, add a keyframe. Go forward a bit. Click I, add a keyframe, go forward a bit, change it, I, add a keyframe. So now if we play that, let's put that on so you can see everything. Yeah, oh, it's so fast you can't even see the difference. Okay, so there's another cool thing we could do to get this kind of flickering effect. Um, I'm going to pop into an animation with it for this with my graph editor. Excuse me, what's going on here? Where have you gone? Oh. Should be on there. We go. So, yeah, it just flashes, disappears, which is cool. It's fine. Lightning kind of looks like that. You could really get away with that. Just maybe make it last a couple sec, or not a couple milliseconds longer. But I'm going to try something with a noise modifier. So to get this, um, just in case you cannot get this window to pop up here, this is the same as this little toolbar up here. But so you need to first of all you need to add your keyframes. Then click on your object or click on your your keyframes in the graph editor down here, which you can find in here, graph editor. And now just find this window. I press N, but you could also do it like this. Yeah, modifiers, add modifier. I'm going to add a noise modifier, which you see adds. This, oh, where's it gone? Did I not click on my frames properly? Add a modifier. Noise, please. There we go. Something like that. Uh, you see, I don't know. If you can't. Obviously, you can't see that. No one can see that. You can see it having some effect on it there. I could also add a bit of movement to it. If where's my thing gone? I need to 
can see that lightning. All right, click back on that, please. And you can, see, yeah, you can see it's added this random noise, uh, well, wavelength pattern to it, which I can mess with. I can, I can mess around with this, and make it longer or tighter, um, add it, make it a bit stronger. So this is currently messing with our displacement over here. So if I, you hear my neighbors being no noisy. Yeah. Anyway, we can also add a modifier to the location. The location is currently basically the same. Is this the, yeah. And do the same thing, I add noise. Let's whack up the strength of that. Make it a bit tighter. We're bringing down the scale. And we get a bit of a flickering action going on here. Let me stretch out that scale a bit. Yeah. We can also, we can add a noise modifier here as well. This is actually the location, sorry. Um, so then again, if I do this, you see that? Wow, that's cool. You get this crazy flickering. Yeah, that's maybe a bit too much. Yeah. As you, yeah, as you affect the scale, that affects the the direction that it's moving. So the smaller that is, the less movement there is, or the tighter it is. Yeah. So we can get it. Yeah. You see, there's a lot more movement there, but I want it smaller, a bit less movement, like that. And that's basically how I got the effect I did earlier. I spent a bit more time fine tuning it, but that's all I did. You can add noise modifiers to the size. To the um, to the actual shape to the dis displacement modifier we got going on over here, and that will give you all of this nice crackling effect, and so you end up with that. Okay, like I say, I've just been messing around with it. To be honest, I haven't. It's not a it's not a fine art yet, um, but I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. So if you if you found that useful, if you you know if you can fine tune it to perfection and you can say exactly the, the specific numbers for getting it, please let me know. Um, but yeah, please let me know uh, by dropping a like too. Thanks very much.